everyone, I'm here with a discussion video and I wanted to talk about book packaging. And in my definition, book packaging is when someone has the idea and they end up hiring other people to write the books. So it's more like a work for hire kind of thing. I know it, this is done mostly in a lot of the design community. I'm going to explain a little bit about the different companies that are these book packaging companies. The first book packaging company that I was really aware of was the Sweet Valley High series and I read all of those books. They were just so, f I don't know, fun and crazy and dramatic and I know the publisher is Bantam, Bantam Books. I don't know if they still exist, but I know it is created by Francine Pascal and she had the idea and then she gets ghostwriters basically to write it. So they are credited. Um, I believe they do get a portion of sales, but I'm not sure how much. Like, I don't know the actual details. So knowing that from such a young age, I didn't really care. When you're a kid, you don't really care about that stuff. But now that I'm an adult, it's kind of interesting to find out all of these other books that are packaged. One company that I know of off the top of my head is Alloy Entertainment. And if you don't know that company, they have that huge site called teen.com. And they are also the creators and producers and behind Vampire. Diaries. So that crazy show that I used to watch is um, part of the Alloy Network and they're also part of the Pretty Little Liars if you guys watch that show as well. And I thought I was very very interesting. Um, I have one book here that I actually have that is under Alloy Entertainment and it is How to Love by Kate Katugo. So this is um, a book that came out, I think, last year. So that's one book that I realized was one book that I own from a packaging company. Another company that I know of is Paper Lantern and Lit. Now I know this company is headed by Lauren Oliver and she is an author. So having an author behind this whole business aspect gives me some bit of relief. Um, she heads up this company, I believe. Um, they have a website and you can see all of the books that they have produced. Um, I will add links in below. One of the books that I do have from Paper Lantern and Lit is The Art of Lainey and this is the arc and this is by Paula Stokes. Now Paula Stokes, her pen name is Fiona Paul from the Venom series. Um, if you guys don't know, it's Venom and Starling, I think there's the third one, and the f middle book, I forgot the name. Yeah, um, and I'm too lazy to get the books. But she, that this is her real name, like Paula is her real name, and she has been really open about it on Twitter. I've talked to her about it, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, the book that has been gaining a lot of ground and people have been realizing there are book packaging companies, has to be the one and only Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. If you guys check out the, the beginning pages, it is created by this company right here. A full Fathom 5. Now, if you guys Google that, you'll have a slew of, of information. And a full Fathom 5 is headed up by James Frey and James Frey is this author who basically made up a book. If you guys don't know it, it is A Million Little Pieces. Um, I heard Oprah basically told him off about it on live, on like her TV show. Um, that's all I know about him and he is behind all of these books. What I find most um, intolerable about Full Fathom 5 is that there's a bit of, um, I don't want to say uh, work abuse, but I believe he's taking advantage of his workers and his employees. Um, there's been articles saying that he 
only paid them $250 just to grab the manuscript to get people to write them. I'm not sure. Like, I don't... That's that's what I was getting from this whole article. But I, I just don't know how to feel about it. It is so... I'm torn. I'm torn between supporting the ghostwriter and supporting James Wright. Like, I... I don't know like maybe I should just ignore it or maybe I should just accept it and I know a lot of people have been you know mad about it I know I was when I found out about this last year or was it this year earlier um, a lot of book bloggers have known about it and I guess I I didn't find out until like later so I'm telling you guys and I just wanted to know, like, what do you think about having an, you know, someone who is a cheat and a liar behind these books and not um, paying his authors enough? Like, I, I don't know if that's the truth, you know, because media always twists words around and maybe it's a publicity stunt. Like, we never know. I just, I don't know. I, I just... I really like this book. I am no, have nothing against Danielle and her book is amazing. I know I haven't finished it yet maybe because I am a little iffy about you know writing this review and talking about it. It's just I don't want to condemn Danielle just because she's under full fathom box. I had to add in one more thing because I think people should know. Um, I don't know if this is gonna get everyone to get mad or you know scared or whatever but one of his other books that he has packaged is the I am number four series by Pedicus Lore and as you guys know it turned into a movie I've seen the movie I thought it was okay I just I don't know if you see here it says here um it says Harbor Teen. It's not, it doesn't say like Full Fathom 5. But if you Google, these books are under his company. So the latest one, I think. That's the latest one. So yeah, I don't know what to think. Like I said earlier, I mean, I would fully support. The other companies like Aloy and Paper Lantern and Lit who do take care of their authors, but I'm not sure about Full Fathom 5 and yeah, I don't, I don't know what to think. So I'm clearly on the fence with this. So now you guys know about this whole controversy. I want to know your thoughts about it. I am still really upset about it at the same time. So yeah comment down below and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.